All you have to do is get your fingernails back behind this little panel for the light switch. Take a Phillips. In this case, I'm just using a drill to make it go a lot faster instead of using a hand uh, Phillips driver. I'm going to take this switch off. And then right behind here, you're going to find the thermostat wire that they have already put in here. It should, uh, it should be wrapped up right here. Wrapped up inside of here. Uh, the thermostat wire right here. It'll have it'll have some wires uh, taped to it. That's just so that they can. It makes it easier for them to run it down the wall and everything for you. All right. We're just gonna for now. Just we're just gonna leave it hanging like that. And then we're just gonna take our uh, drill bit and we're going to drill a hole just slightly above that switch for the thermostat. And uh, you're gonna want to go nice and slow because you got wires back there. You don't want to hit them. And it's gonna drill through this pretty easily. What I want to do is I'm going to put it on the hole that's for that switch and I'm going to slightly move it up so that it's centered with the switch. Alright guys, um, we, uh, we're going to go ahead and run the thermostat right now, and uh, what you can do, you don't have to do this exactly, but what you, what you can do is, uh, if your hole is too high like ours, to just reach your finger through, what you can do is cut, cut about this much, enough to where it reaches the thermostat, the back of the thermostat through the hole and everything. And with the extra wire that you have cut off, run it down the hole, and actually run it out where the switch comes in and just tape it to the, uh, the wire that you're going to be using. And then as you pull up, it'll pull the new the wire that you're going to be using through the hole. But uh, what we're going to do is uh, we've got a good sized hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little loop in it, like a little hanger. And we're just going to try to loop it in here. Let's see if it wants to come through the hole for us. And I do see it. pull that thermostat wire through the hole. It's always better to have more. You, you don't want to have less. That's, that's, you're going to run into problems. And uh, that's, that's the thermostat wire going. And now that what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to mount the thermostat itself and uh, show you how to hook it up. Alright, we've got the thermostat mounted. Alright guys, it's uh, pretty simple to mount that thermostat. Just use the two long screws that came with it. Just be careful not to over tighten because it will strip out because it's not a very that's not a very thick wall. And all we're going to do is uh, show you how to wire it up. Pretty simple, but uh, you're going to have approximately five wires in here. Six, actually. You're going to have six wires in there. Uh, you can use any color, any three colors you want. Just make sure that it matches what's wired up, up where the unit is. Uh, but basically, we're going to use red, white, and blue because we're in America. All right, guys. Sorry, it's going to be a little dark. We had to kill the main power coming into the trailer. We also had to kill the 12 volt battery so that we can go ahead and cut this so that we can splice in our wires needed for the unit to run properly. All right, guys. All you've done is you've taken the 12 volt uh, wire, you've cut it in half, and uh, you're going to be splicing the uh, white and white wire together and the orange and orange together later. Alright, uh, we've got 
got main power plugged in. We've got we've got 12 volts back on. We've got it all hooked up and ready to go. Um, in this case, our the AC it actually had the control board built in, and that's what this wire right here hanging down is. But you will you will they do have some that don't have that. It doesn't have it built in. So the thermostat kit actually comes with uh, the little box that is essentially built into this one. Uh, the, all the wires there, they're essentially the same. It's the same wiring and everything. Um, like, uh, for example, orange to orange, and that would go to the center post right here on your thermostat. The center post, C-O-M-M-S. Alrighty, I'm just going to go step by step each wire, where it lands, and what we have got it hooked up to. Alright, what well, you got this red white one coming. This is only if you have the board built in or essentially it's the same as if you just install the board yourself. But you've got 12 volts to uh, thermostat. That's your red and your white wire. We've got it hooked to 12 volts positive on our thermostat. You can see over here that it also lands 12 volts positive and we have power. And we've also got our white wire right here. We've got white connected to negative to the actual 12 volt coming in and we've also got our 12 volts from supply. Alrighty guys the two wires that I showed you cutting earlier uh, the two white wires are actually going to be coming into the 12 volt to from supply and to T-STAT so those are going to be four wires all wire nutted together. And to T-STAT hooked up all in the same one. So you can see all the four wires right there, all wired nutted together. And then the white lands right here at 12 volt negative on the thermostat. And then last but not least, we have our orange, which is, uh, which is our CLMMS. We've got it connected directly to the blue on the thermostat. And it lands right in the middle of our thermostat. And the blue wires are, we're actually not using blue wires because those are for furnaces. Those are for furnace applications and we will not be using that. And now we've got our positive 12 volts coming in. Alright guys, and the other side of the wire that I cut earlier, um, you're going to be using the positive side, which is labeled orange and white on the wire, is going to connect to a wire that's labeled 12 plus from supply. Ours is red in this case, but yours might be a different color also hooked up to this red wire right here which is going to be your 12 volt from supply. Alrighty guys, we are getting very close to uh, being done with this and uh, what we've done is we've gone ahead and zip tied and pushed back the wire so that they're, they look they look cleaner. They look a lot cleaner and we've just got it all pushed back and looking pretty. We um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to expand a foam, this, this little cavity right here, because you you're not going to want hot air coming, uh, coming in to the unit from the, the roof cavity itself. So uh, we're going to do that, and uh, we're going to take this thing on. All right, we've sprayed expand a foam. It's already expanded. We've got it all looking good. It just keeps you from uh, the hot air from the roof cavity from getting in the unit and what we're going to do is we're going to put the panel on the up up here and we're going to fire it up. Alright guys covers on it's real simple to put on you, th these aren't even in there so you've just got two screws that go in here and you've got to pull this filter cavity out you've got some screws that go in each corner of that. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see if it comes on and uh, let it run. Go. All right, guys. Our thermostat came in Celsius. It's real easy to change. You just hold these at the same time and changes to Fahrenheit. That's it. Alright guys, uh, that about sums it up. We've uh, showed you step by step how to install your unit 
and uh, we've got it up and running and cooling right now. And I uh, hope this video was very informational for you, and I hope it gets you uh, your unit installed and properly working. Thanks, guys.